welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing an end of the month budget recap it's actually May the 1st today so I have just gone ahead and reconciled our budget and we're going to see how we fared out for the month of April so if you guys remember I did our budget for April and the spin well happy planner budget edition spoiler alert for those of you who did not get the memo I am going to be budgeting in my Erin Condren planner for the month of May. So this is what I'll be using for May. But anyway, as for April, if you guys remember, I kind of laid out our budget. Um, well, I kind of put the expenses and such here per usual and the bills and the paydays and all of that. But I also kind of laid it out right here. So this had our monthly income, which is what we projected our bills and fixed expenses, our variable expenses. And so what I've done is I've just taken all of these numbers and I've transferred them here so we can kind of see, you know, if we're over or if we're under in, you know, whichever category. So we're actually going to start with rent and water. I have mentioned this before. We live in Georgia in a low cost of living area, not I'm not saying Georgia is a low cost of living area. I'm just saying the particular city that we live in is a low cost of living area. So with that said, our rent and water, maintenance, trash, sewage, all of that is combined with our rent and our water, which is $570 every single month. And we do have a two bedroom. Um, the next, so we were on budget there. The next one is cable and internet. We budgeted 107.86. It came in at 107.86. We have Comcast and Xfinity, and we also have a sports package. So the cable, the internet is like 60 bucks, and then the cable is that difference because the internet is, I guess, high speed, kind of like a little bit higher than normal because I do YouTube and I just don't have that much patience as it is. So I did increase that. I think maybe like last year or something like that. So our internet is, I guess, a little bit faster than normal. Um, electricity, we budgeted $100, but we came in under at $64.55. And that is due to us not using that much electricity. But also because apparently for the next four months, we are going to be getting a $25 credit to our Georgia Power account. So every month for the next four months, because it is to equal $100, we will save $25 each month because of that. I don't really know what's going on, but if you sign into your Georgia Power app, you should see what is going on. And it's not something that like you have to sign up for or apply to or whatever the case is. It's kind of like an automatic thing to my knowledge. So anyway, that is why we came in significantly under. Cell phones, we budgeted $75.75, but we came in under Hooray at 7075 and that is because um, we have AT&T prepaid we have the $45 plans and we each sit, share six gig what well, we don't share we each have 6 gigabytes of high speed data but technically the data is unlimited it just slows down pretty significantly probably to like half its speed whenever we cap at that 6 gigabyte i kind of do that maybe like the 20th <laughs> somewhere around there of each month but my husband actually never goes over which I find interesting because I feel like we both have Wi-Fi everywhere so I don't really know what's going on with me but anyway all that to say we save five dollars because now we they're giving us credit for each of us having being enrolled in auto pay it used to be like a family discount which we get which we save ten dollars for as well five dollars each but they also used to give us a five dollar um, discount for having auto pay but now they're giving us a $10 discount because we both are set up for auto pay so that's how our bill is down from $75.75 to $70.75 if that makes sense next is my allowance I thought that I was gonna shoot for $50 apparently sorry for the um, whatever noise that was apparently I came in at 102.78 so I'm over budget so that's our first over budget item and I guess I don't feel too terribly bad because most of the things that I purchase kind of go back into my business which is YouTube so I never really feel bad for going over budget but it, like let's say if I bought like if I spent like $50 on 
some makeup or something I would probably feel bad about it but because I have a planner channel and if I purchase anything planner related it kind of like goes back into the business then I don't really feel bad about that so I just actually calculated I just looked at all of the expenses most of them were Michaels and this and that so I don't feel bad about the 10278 my husband is also over budget and he came in at 12601 which you know was interesting people always ask us about our allowance and because when when we were making what we once were we would do about 100 to 125 and it's so interesting to me because this is trying to essentially well this is kind of trying to not spend too much money but we still always come back to the same amount so I don't know what it is and you know I try to explain to people we kind of just go with 100 or 125 or somewhere around or we had been going with that amount because it seemed like a comfortable amount and it really is for some reason like I find this very interesting this is how it once was you know back when we first started budgeting almost a year ago so anyway there's that next category is haircuts my husband came under at thirteen fifty eight donations and gifts we budgeted well what is this is this a 75 or a 25 that's 75 dollars oh because my friend so my friend actually did come down but we certainly didn't spend the small amount that we thought we would um with doing everything that we did for her with her for her birthday we spent way more than that and we also did some more giving so we are actually over by a lot at 254.25 but a lot of that did go to her birthday weekend which was this past weekend but we had so much fun and I hadn't seen her in a year which I don't really see any of my friends and like for I feel like six months or a year or a year and a half or whatever so I you know it was super fun I had lots of fun and I do it all over again toiletries we budgeted $25 we came in over which is pretty unusual at $35.90 business which is YouTube we budgeted $50 and um it's kind of hard for me to separate the allowance and the business which is as of which as of may i'm just going to combine those two together so like if i buy a planner that i'm giving away i mean while it is a business and i have intentions of giving it away while it is a business expense it's also like something that's could come out of this category which is my category as well so I don't know but I'm going to combine those for May so we don't have to really try to rack our brains trying to figure out but we budgeted 50 and we came in under at 49.19 again those two categories are kind of hard to distinguish some of these expenses are hard to distinguish but I think it some of those like I split it up the best way that I could so we did come in under at 49.19 the next one is miscellaneous. Now this is going to be way over as well. We budgeted 50 and we came in at 283.40, mainly due to um, a, a course that my husband purchased for. I've shared with you guys that he's furthering his career and his education and all of that. So that's kind of why we're sort of in limbo with paying off debt. But in our minds, it makes way more sense to just temporarily get everything situated and then get back to attacking debt so most of that like I mean like 270 or 260 of it went to that course personal trainer I budgeted 140 that was 140 gym I budgeted 1999 that was 1999 gas for our cars we budgeted 120 which we don't need to do anymore because gas prices are like 60 cents higher than what they need to be and we actually came in at who 184.55 a lot of that had to do with us needing to fill up for the festivities that we part took in this past weekend with my friend and I also had to do with some of the other giving that I did earlier this month so otherwise if we didn't really leave our city aside from going to work and back 
um, it would probably have been, I think, like $50 less. So we would have been over budget either way. So I think we need to start budgeting about $140 each month. Life insurance was as budgeted at $42.19. That is for the both of us. Renter insurance. We didn't budget any because we don't pay that again until May or this month. And then car insurance, we don't pay that again until June. So we don't budget for, like, we put those in the budget because those are expenses that we have. But we did not budget anything for those for this month or for April because we didn't need to pay on those particular um, bills. Groceries, we budgeted 200 That is a frugal amount now that we are calling ourselves eating healthy that is going to be going up and so that came we still didn't do that bad honestly at 248.98 but i envision that's probably going to be about 350 every month moving forward if we continue with our little healthy path restaurants and dates we budgeted 100 as fate would have it <laughs> we are way over budget there at least we didn't surpass 300, right? We are at 294.75. <sighs> I don't really have any words. I know two trips, like we went to two, like one was $60 and one was $40. So that was with, that was two dates. So that took us, I mean, that was pretty much our whole budget right there. And then we kind of did our normal stuff. So I'm not even going to justify restaurants because I don't, <laughs> honestly, which is sad that we're still like at half the amount that we used to spend. We used to spend like $600, $700 each month. So from last year until this year, we're doing pretty good. My student loans, we budgeted $100.28. That is going up for May, but it was $100.28 for April. My husband's student loans, so what has happened is we budgeted three or four sixty nine, but his minimum payment is actually two twenty six oh three, so we're under there. But we did go ahead and make an additional payment because this I've explained this before, but this is what the auto pay is set up for. It's not set up for that anymore. So essentially this was the auto pay, but this was the minimum payment. So technically this is what the additional amount that we paid. So um that amount is in here. So as for savings and debt, we put 304.69 towards debt, which I should probably, I didn't think that we were gonna make an additional payment this month, but we did. And so we saved the difference, which was um, whatever that is, 304, $2,804.24 minus 304.69 minus about $500 because our income was not what we projected. So this was this amount and I know that's confusing. So let me just do this math so y'all know what I'm talking about. So this is what we projected to save. We were not making an, an additional debt payment. We were going to save almost um, $3,000, but we had about $500 of a loss in income. And so I don't know the exact amount, but what I do know is that 1636.45 minus 304.69, that's the additional debt payment. That's what went to debt. So this is what we saved for the month of April, $1,331.76, as opposed to this amount, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So anyway, this is uh, what April looked like. And I tracked all of our expenses in the Fudget app. So let me just explain that to you guys. So this is what we use for, this is what I use for tracking expenses. I have always used Fudget. And so basically what you can do is you can add in all of your income um, and then you can add in all of your expenses. And what it does is at the bottom here, it tells you how much you have remaining at all times so, so I do track our expenses in the fudget app so I have not been tracking them manually because it's really redundant for me to do it manually and electronically so that is why I did away with that so anyway this is how we did for the month of April I guess if I had to give us a grade just by judging by all of the <laughs> the red I would say I'd give us a D mine. Sure. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.